Hello everyone, let's look at the new features and changes rolling out on Windows 11 build 26.220.6682 for version 25H2 and the dev channel. These changes also apply for Windows 11 build 26.120.6682 for version 24H2 and the beta channel. Okay, first you can now relocate the hardware indicators such as brightness, volume, airplane mode and desktop to different positions on the screen. And to do that, you need to go to system you need to open the settings app and then on system notifications when you scroll down you're going to find this position of on screen indicators and by default it's set to the top so for example if i try to change the value the indicator appears at the top but now you can change it to the top left as you can see right here and you can also set it to the bottom center as you can see right here now if we go to the system section we can now see that Microsoft is finally rolling out the advanced settings page. And this is the page that will replace the for developers page. This page includes a new design that groups settings in different categories and adds new features such as Git integration for File Explorer. So if we go to the File Explorer settings, we can see the File Explorer plus version control. And this is for the Git integration. However, I am noticing that in this release, the page doesn't include previously available options, such as the ability to enable the long path setting or the virtual desktops page that we've seen in previous builds. On Windows 11, the second chance out of box experience is the page that you typically receive after updating or randomly after signing in into your account to configure additional features such as backing up your data to the cloud, changing browsing settings to the Microsoft recommendations and import your browsing data to Microsoft Edge. In this release, the company is adding a new reminder, as you can see right here, to remind you that your Microsoft subscription requires attention. Now, click to do is also getting a few changes. I do have a Copala Plus B but after updating to the latest preview build, I did not receive these changes. However, when using click to do and you right click an object, that context menu has now been updated to what you see on the screen right now. And for example, now you will see a new copilot from box at the top, making it easier to interact with a chatbot when using this AI feature. Now, at the bottom of the prompt box, you will also notice prompt suggestions, which Microsoft is using the PySilica AI model built into the operating system to suggest different things that you can ask Copilot depending on the content that you're selecting. Furthermore, you're going to notice that the context menu will now include new and popular tags, as you can see right here, to help you discover new actions. Finally, if you use the summarize option, click to do will now now show a more concise summary of the content that you're selecting. One more thing that I wanted to point out is that in this release, when you use the right edge gesture with click to do, you will now see a new visual animation for a clear visual cue. Also, this release includes the emoji version 16.0, which includes a new set of emojis such as fingerprint, root vegetables, shovel, and more. And finally, the Windows Navigator now provides a more fluid and natural reading experience when using Microsoft Word, feature and enhanced voice feedback, continuous reading, and a smart navigation across footnotes, comments, lists, and tables. And that's it. Those were the, the most significant improvements that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 26.220.6682 and for build 26.120.6682 and the dev and beta channels. Now, as always, these preview builds include other fixes and changes and known issues. You can always check the link in the description to get the latest details about this release. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about these changes, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.